Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's often misunderstood but super important if you're serious about photography or videography mechanical versus electronic shutters. We'll break down how they work, their impact on sensor readout speeds, and what curtain transit time actually means for your shots. First off, let's clear the basics. In digital cameras, the shutter controls how long your camera's sensor is exposed to light. But the way that exposure happens can vary, depending on whether you're using a mechanical shutter, an electronic shutter, or sometimes a mix of both. A mechanical shutter works with two physical curtains. The first curtain opens to expose the sensor, and the second curtain follows to end the exposure. This system has a delay, called curtain transit time, which is how long it takes the curtains to move across the sensor. That time matters. For fast-moving subjects if the curtains are too slow, parts of the image might be exposed at different times, leading to motion distortion or banding, especially with artificial lighting. Most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have curtain transit times of about 1 200th to 1 300th of a second, but it varies by model. High-end pro bodies may have faster mechanisms. Now let's talk electronic shutters. These have no moving parts. Instead, the camera simply turns on and reads out the sensor electronically. Sounds faster, right? Well, kind of. The key factor here is sensor readout speed. This is how long it takes to scan the entire sensor line by line and build the image. Cheaper or older cameras can take up to one-tenth of a second to read out the whole sensor. That's where you get the dreaded rolling shutter effect. Think jello-like distortion in fast panning shots or wobbly lines in video. Newer stacked sensors like in the Canon R3 or Sony A1 can read out much faster, some under 1 200th of a second, almost matching mechanical shutter performance. So which is better? Well, it depends. Mechanical shutters? Better for high-speed photography, no rolling shutter issues, more reliable with flash sync, but they wear out over time and can cause vibration. Electronic shutters, silent shooting, no wear and tear, faster burst rates, but they can suffer from rolling shutter and flicker under certain lighting conditions. Also, flash sync is usually limited or not supported at all. Here's where it gets nerdy, in a good way. Curtain transit time, mechanical and sensor readout time, electronic, are both about how fast your sensor is fully exposed. If the readout time of an electronic shutter is slower than the curtain transit time of a mechanical one, fast-moving subjects will warp more with the electronic shutter. But if you're shooting with a camera that has a fast-stacked sensor, the readout time may be so quick that you never notice the difference. So there you have it, mechanical versus electronic shutters, Sensor readout speed and curtain transit times all broken down. Let me know in the comments. Do you still prefer the feel of a mechanical shutter click? Or are you all in on the silent, fast world of electronic shutters? If you found this helpful, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.